back here today and you see all of this, what looks different than from 1930s? Well, things are a little neater and cleaner. They've got things well painted. I suppose it looks it looks brighter to me than what it did when I was a kid. But uh, you know, they had at that time they had a, a candy shop over here where they had a, a machine that made this taffy, black walnut taffy, and across the street was a hamburger place, and we could buy hamburgers there for ten cents a piece. I just I just wrote a poem before yesterday about the hamburger place because there would be a guy in there that would fry the hamburgers and he would yell out, come on in, come on in, and eat them while they're hot. Uh, we'll have a hamburger, tomato and onion in the middle, and a pickle off top. When you were 11 years old, so take me back to your 11 years old, you are buckled in, you're strapped in to the uh, roller coaster. I don't think they strapped us in. No. <laughs> no, no, we just hung on for dear life. <laughs> and we didn't throw up our hands and, and yell and hang on because we hung on. And I still plan to do that. <laughs> You're not going to throw your hands up in the air? No, 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 no. no. That's how you fall out of those things and get hurt. <laughs> you know they had roller coasters over there on the other side of the rooftop. There were a couple over there years ago before they did that. And uh, one of the boys fell out from Cheryl Key. And uh, oh, it really, really hurt. A fellow by the name of Wise. His dad was a doctor in children. And Doc wouldn't let anybody else touch him. Touch him. He came up to Spencer and performed the operation on, on his son. <laughs>